are back with another tell it animated animation okay so that's who made this big shout out to them because you guys are loving the evolution of things and his animations i love them too they're really good go check out his channel tell it animated on youtube so today we're going to be reacting to the evolution of jason Voorhees. jason Voorhees. i don't know the evolution of him so i'm definitely going to be having to pay attention on this one so let's get into this but first before we even get it can you guys drop a like on this video subscribe and comment down below do you know the evolution of jason Boy? like if you do let me know in the comments below but i'm about to learn right here let's get into this the friday the 13th films are known for horror icon jason Voorhees. Oh. from misshapen boy to space monster oh that was kind of cool he cut the screen and open <laughs> let's go through his progression jason first appears in uh! What is that? Oh my. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. He'd probably try to kill me tonight or something. Look at his head shape, though. That's crazy looking. Part one is a bald, deformed child who drowned Aww. at Camp Crystal Lake. His mother later. Okay, never mind. I don't want to say that because he was a deformed child. He didn't have no choice over that. That was not okay from now. I'm mean. That was mean of me to laugh. Shouldn't laugh at Jason Voorhees. He's going to try to kill me now. But. Let's go back a little bit. One is a bald, deformed child who drowned at Camp Crystal Lake. He drowned. Later avenges his death, only to be killed herself. In part two, Jason is alive somehow and seeking revenge for his mother. Okay, so pause. I played some uh, Jason Voorhees games in the past, and like Dead by Daylight, you start out and his mom and the candles and her head, and I, I don't understand that. But they're kind of doing the same thing here. Who's got the mask over the head? That's not Jason Voorhees. He's full grown and wears a plaid shirt, overalls, and a one-eyed sack. Oh. Unmasked his head appears. Whoa! That's the first Jason Voorhees with the bag over his head? And then it... Then they take the bag off and he's... How is he even alive? He drowned. Like... He come back from the dead? Like, I don't get that. He's lumpy with patchy long hair. Jason is bulkier in part three. In a Did we miss something? Hold on, did his- hold on, what did they say about his mom? ...child who drowned at Camp Crystal Lake. His mother later avenges his death, only to be killed herself. Avenges his death? How does she avenge his death? What, did she go stab the water? Like, he- was she- he drowned, like, somebody drowned him? So, in part two, Jason is alive somehow and seeking revenge for his mother. He's full grown- Okay, so she seeked revenge for his death, but, like- I guess she must have been just killing people. Then she died, and he's seeking revenge for his. Plaid shirt, Got it. Overalls and a one-eyed sack. Unmasked, his head appears lumpy with patchy wow. hair. Jason is bulkier in part three and acquires his iconic hockey mask and trades the overalls for blue pants and a green dress shirt. He also ditches his hair for a shaving look. Okay, yeah, the hair was just like it made him look crazier though. It looked like a grown-up Chucky doll or something. By the way, if you want to see the Chucky doll. Evolution, let me know in the comments below! And oddly shares little resemblance to himself in part two. In the final chapter, Jason's clothes noticeably have more wear and tear, and his face looks much more deformed. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna crack him on the head with something? And who took his mask off? That was the Jason Voorhees mask. Nobody touches that. He sliced to death by his own machete oh. and is presumed dead. Jason nope. Nope, nope, he already came back from the dead one time. He's not dead. Trust me, this thing can't die. I don't know what it is, but it ain't Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees, was that a real dude's name? Like, was somebody alive that was named that? There might be somebody out there really named Jason Voorhees. I'm sure. Jason in the new beginning. And this is the story that I gotta, they gotta go with. He sliced to death by his own machete and presumed dead. Jason in the new beginning is revealed to be a copycat killer. So let's move on. Wait, 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 what? Dead. Jason in the new beginning is revealed to be a copycat killer, so let's move on. Oh. In part six, Jason lives. Jason is brought back to life when lightning hits his corpse. While zombified, he dons the- Oh my gosh. What the? Oh, this man's been through a few things, but he's been dead. The same attire, but with additional gloves. In the climax, he's chained to the bottom. This man's got a construction outfit on like he's about to go build a building. Never mind, that's a, that's a knife holder. <laughs> Why does he got a rock? Come up, Crystal Lake. In part oh. seven, the new blood, Jason is let loose by a girl with psychic powers and now sports a chain around his neck and clothing that is even more tattered, revealing bone underneath. His mask is broken. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I keep not listening, guys. I gotta go back. What does she do? Let loose by a girl with psychic powers huh? and now sports a chain around his neck and clothing that is even more. Why does she do that? Why does she let him loose? Tattered, revealing bone underneath. His mask is broken and reveals an extremely rotted face. 
Once again, to stop his rampage, he's sent to the bottom of the lake. Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, has Jason awoken by electric shock. And oh my god, like, it just doesn't matter. He always just gets some random thing to, to bring him back to life. A new mask. He now seems perpetually wet. He hops a boat to New York, and what's there is melted away by toxic sludge. But oh. don't worry. And Jason goes to hell the final Friday. Jason is alive. Again. His mask is now embedded to his face with oh. wisps of hair falling out. Then the first 10 minutes, he's blown up and presumed dead. But the film carries on as a... How in the world is this thing still moving? I don't understand. They melted the dude. It's not a dude. It's some kind of demon possessing his body or something. He got melted. And then he just comes back to life like... How is he that? Like, how did he... Uh, you know, they just they just keep bringing him back. Like, he just keeps dying and dying and dying. And if they want another movie, he comes back somehow. Because I don't know how you come back from the melting. Where's the melting? I can't even find it. Falling out. Within the first ten minutes, he's blown up and presumed dead. But the film carries on as his ghost possesses other people. Oh. He eventually resurrects himself, but is soon stabbed by a magic dagger and dragged into hell. Jason is risen by Freddy Krueger for their crossover, Freddy vs. Jason. His mask is no longer in- Did he come back? Again? Again he came back? Again? He eventually resurrects himself, but is soon stabbed by a magic dagger and dragged into hell. Jason is risen by Freddy Krueger for their crossover, Freddy okay. vs. Jason. His mask is no longer embedded, his skin appears leathery, and he's gained light. He's Hold on, how was his mask embedded before, but now it's not, like- Oh, this is stressful. This is stressful thinking. He's also sporting a new brown coat. Jason X shows Jason back to his normal height and flesh-colored skin. And his face here is lump- Oh my god. My man. I mean, I guess when you die and come back 10 million times, that's what happens. My question is, how, how did he get melted and come back? He got melted and came back and- <laughs> That one's the biggest one. But he keeps dying no matter what. He won't die. He's cryogenically frozen and let loose on a spaceship and later rebuilt with nanotechnology. Oh my god. Who did this? Who rebuilt Jason Voorhees and nanotechnology? See, I haven't seen all the movies, guys. I've seen a lot of them, but I ain't seen all of them. And I definitely ain't seen that one. I've seen Freddy vs. Jason, but I don't know what's going on here. What the heck? Which gives him a shiny new mask and bodysuit. With nowhere left to go, the Jason series was rebooted with a more clown. Oh my good. How? What happened to the nanotech, huh? The nanotech's just gone now? Classic look in 2009, leaving Uber Jason in space. Oh, Uber Jason. Ah, I've heard of that before. Okay. See, there's a lot of questions I had throughout that entire thing because he died over and over, but no matter what, he gets brought back. So, if you're ever watching a Jason movie, and you're like, oh no, he died, there's not gonna be any more Jason movies, and you're wrong, they'll bring him back. He got melted and came back, I don't even understand. I don't understand. He got sent to space, they sent him to space, and he came back as Uber Jason. I don't get this. <laughs> the evolution was crazy. I'm sure it was hard for tele animated to do that, so please go subscribe to their channel and also subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to drop that like. And uh, I don't have an outro, so peace!